So you have two sons, you have two daughters, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make him a stronger lover with the ladies or what? Since you can't have... <laughs> According to Pops Carvalho, I drive deep. Oh, what? That's great voice. Sorry. That's the way it is. Are you saying, are you saying I'm shallow with my nah, I'm so sorry. I'm penetration? Just, I'm just saying what Pops says. Pops says you want boys, drive deep. And you're 20 years older than Michael, yet you have a full head of hair. How does that make you feel, Mike? Well, I have my glasses on, so that you wouldn't notice that. But thanks for pointing that out. So what, gives you the, what gives you the right to talk to this great man like that? Look at this guy's hair. You look, you know, you look like you, you got a haircut from the 20s. I went with you to get a haircut. Like he's just waiting around for Dumb and Dumber 4 to come out. His ears are so small, they barely hold that cap up. And you know, I just want to know why you keep wearing that wristband that says Mike Swick. What the hell that, are you? Tell me too, because I'm curious. What kind of groupie are you? This stops me from doing a lot of things. Really? Yeah. I see the man that Mike's become, and I just don't want to be him. So <laughs> when I make a mistake, I look at Dad and be like, fuck no. So. I don't know why it's pink and has perfume on it, but... What's your thoughts on the lady boys here in town? I haven't run into one yet. Ran into one or been into one? Ran into one. Oh, okay. So well, I haven't seen them. That's because you called them. I haven't seen them yet. You haven't seen lady boys no, yet? No, I have not, oh. believe it or not. I've seen four liter room, so. What's my room number? 116. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> 116. One out of every 16. You, you see the rooster in my room? The cock a doo doo doo. It keeps me up. Starts at 4 o'clock. Don't stop. Until 7 o'clock. Cock a doo. Is that uh, no, no, not cock a doo. No, no, none of that. How much money have you spent on Lady Boys here, Kevin? <laughs> Fortunately for me, I've spent no money on anybody because I'm here to work and you are an ass for asking such a stupid ass question and you need to drink your pee again because I'm telling you right now, you need some more energy because without that pee, you're like fizzling out on me. Can we end this conversation? Let's do it. Let's do it. Finish. You're not going to Mexico. Well, you know, I, I came here in uh, 2013 to November when the gym, the concept, and uh, it was beginning under construction. And uh, really, I didn't really see the vision. You know, all I saw was a big bunch of mess. And uh, at that point, you know, the rings were just barely being put in where the jujitsu area is on right now. There was nothing there, just bare walls. And then I come in here and I'm looking at this most beautiful, amazing gym that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I have a dream gym that I thought, till I come here, then I have to wake up from the dream <laughs> and realize that this is the dream gym. The fact that Mike uh, Swick, uh, you know, actually I forced him to take AKA the name. It wasn't really his uh, decision per se. I more or less kept pushing the issue and I'm so glad he took me up on it because now look, uh, look what he's accomplished. Uh, the atmosphere, the instruction, uh, the quality uh, of the gym, the, the cleanliness, the whole everything, aesthetics, it, it's better than anything I've ever seen. Hobbs' first time at a Muay Thai fight here in Thailand. We have two fighters fighting, but Dylan just asked me if he could fight. So they apparently just asked Dylan, one of our fighters, if he could fight tonight. He's already here watching the fight, so it's a very short notice. Uh, I just sent him to go find out who he's fighting, just to kind of, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things that would be like a no-brainer in the States, but here it's like, that's what these guys do. So we'll, we'll see what happens. They want to fight right now, literally. They want to fight right now. They want to fight right now. They don't do it. The question is, should we let them? Will they let you? No, will we let them? Oh. It's an hour notice. It's like it's a tiger. It's a tiger. Good guy? That's the problem. He does this all the time. He's a good guy. Are you capable of fighting for sure? Yeah. For sure. I guess he's fighting. 
I came as a spectator. I've been off for about seven months now, not fighting. They asked me to fight uh, a few minutes notice, so I'm going to, aka Thailand, all the way, buddy. Uh, Mike asked me if I wanted to go watch the authentic Muay Thai fights. We had uh, two Thai boxers from here competing, so I went over there and I watched it. It was pretty impressive. I watched one of the instructors on a 10-minute notice go in and to do a fight. You know, it was pretty amazing that uh, the courage that he showed go in there and stop his opponent who had 80 plus fights. Uh, I was very impressed with him. He had the eye of the tiger and there was no way in hell I was going to say, no, don't do it. And I'm so glad I didn't because he, he performed great, you know, for what he needed to do. Uh, fun was, ex it was exciting, exciting fight, very exciting fight. Uh, I think I screamed like a girl. Oh man, I gotta walk slower. You're too fast. I'm trying to enjoy the scenery here. You're supposed to open the door, Mark. First time here. Hello. Well, when I came here, I did a, a footwork seminar and angles and, and just little simple things. So I want to be on him and I want to hit him and I want to move and I want to hit him. I want to hit him and I want to see what I'm doing here. I'm moving and 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 I'm moving. See what I'm doing with my feet. Today I did a simple basic footwork seminar to my surprise, or maybe not to my surprise, uh, the majority of the fighters didn't quite have the idea uh, of basic footwork. Um, at the end of the seminar, they, every single person got the idea. I was very happy because uh, they picked it up real quick. Hopefully, if they practice it, they'll be able to use it and uh, they can say, thanks, Hob, you taught me that. Someone, pre someone predicted the professional. I don't, you'll fucking just make me sit here and do this shit. <laughs> it asked me questions. You said, you I want to be famous, I want to do these videos. Yes. You're sitting in the chair, how, come on, ask us something. How do you like Thailand? Like, what did you think when you got here? I think Tom this place is freaking amazing. Should we start from 1985? No, we're in. Forget 85. We're not even at 85 anymore. <laughs> we we so are in present 2016. All right, so let's start with uh, me and him in the beginning and then the gym. Whatever, just say something. Do something. So, <laughs> God damn this guy. 